Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this one, let's talk about how we can generate a weekly report using Python and Wayscript. We'll pull in information from an Excel sheet, process it using Python, and then send that weekly email. Let's get started. Getting started, we'll build this one on a team account because we may want other individuals on our team to be able to execute and generate these reports on their own. We'll click create a new script under that team account and we'll say weekly Excel report. And then we'll click on create and way script to execute any program on any time basis. We can use the time trigger for this time trigger. We already have pre-built options for a weekly cadence. However, if we wanted something more flexible, we could use this custom advanced mode for this. We'll just keep it simple and use the weekly trigger. So we've already got our automated executions in place. We'll have to be sure to turn this on whenever we want to activate it. We'll do that at the end. Right now, let's go ahead and use the Microsoft Excel data. So for us, what I'll do is I'll upload a file. Then we'll select the file that we want to upload. For me, I'll be using this one. Now we'll click on open and we'll be working with this data. What we'll do here is I'll click on ignore headers and then I'll just import each of these columns. Once we have those, we can move on and use our Python module. We see that when we import each of these though, that they create variables down here in the bottom left that we can use later on in our script. So this makes it super easy to use Python to do calculations on this data. We'll click off of that, click add step and choose a Python module. At this point, what we can do is use pandas directly in our browser. So we'll zoom in and get rid of this default code. And what we can do here, since Wayscript is storing all of these variables in a dictionary, we can just use that dictionary to feed our data frame. So we'll say df is equal to pd dot data frame, where the data will just be that variables dictionary. Of course, you may not want to do this if you have a bunch more variables previous to this step in your program. For us, we're only working with these values, so we'll just do it like this. Now let's say as type, and we'll just use a float type. Then we'll print DF to make sure that this is working. So we'll run code to the left. Once we execute that code, we see that our data frame looks correct over here in the right. At this point, you could do whatever computations that you needed to, to get the appropriate data from your Excel spreadsheet. For us, I'll just do a simple calculation and return that. Since we want to pass this information to an email, we'll need to write it as a Wayscript variable. We'll do that using that variables dictionary that we used up here. This time we're writing to it. So we'll make a new key and assign a value to it. We'll say something like info to return. Then we can do a calculation here. Wayscript largely supports built-in Python types. So we'll have to convert this from a Panda series to something a little bit neater. So we'll use two parentheses and we'll just use a method on this list on the series called to list. So this will write this panda series as a list and we should return it down here in the bottom left, which we do. So now we just need to pass this information to an email. We'll click on done editing and then we'll click on add step. We'll use the Gmail module. And what we can do here is we can auth whatever account we want to send an email with. We can choose the mode of send email and then we can send an email to whatever address that we want. We'll set a subject. Now for our email body, we'll just say something like, here's the report, and then we'll pass in this info to return. Now we'll just turn this on and we have a working script just like that. I know it's a quick tutorial, but I hope it shows you just how powerful Wayscript is. Executing scripts on a cadence like this can very simply be done with just the time trigger. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know and we'll help you out. Until next time.